If you find it challenging to play octaves in tune, and if you find it very tiring to play in thumb position, chances are that you're not spending enough time on strengthening your thumb. Welcome back to Moser Mini Masterclass, everybody, and buckle up because this is a big one. What I see a lot when people move into thumb position is that this joint collapses and the whole roof of the hand comes down instead of keeping the hand open. When we first learn thumb position as kids, we don't have a lot of strength in our hands, so we try to substitute the lack of strength in the thumb by pressing with the whole hand onto the thumb itself in order to give it stability and a little bit of strength. And like with so many things, we carry this bad habit from childhood for years and years and years. If you lock this joint, there is no possibility for you to extend the thumb, which you need when you play octaves going lower. All you're able to do is stretch the third finger, which leads to even more collapse, instead of evenly stretching out. Another reason why you should change that is that when you lock a joint, you stop the blood flow and your muscle in your thumb gets tired very, very quickly and starts to hurt. And as a result of that, you press even more and get even more tired, so it really is a vicious cycle. How do you strengthen this muscle? Well, we need to send the thumb to the gym. Make the letter C with your hand and place it onto your strings. Place it loosely so you're just touching the strings but you're not pressing them down. And now let the thumb do a couple of push-ups. So you raise the thumb and you press it down slowly and you raise it again and you press it down slowly. And make sure that when you press down, you're not collapsing, yeah? But you're staying firm. This letter C is never going away. I'm really not a fan of collapsed joints. Nowhere in the hand. I don't like it when we do it with our fingers and especially not with a thumb. Whenever you find yourself in a collapsed position, I want you to push gently up so that you have a round roof of the hand. If you think of a dome like St. Peter in Rome, the only reason why this roof isn't collapsing is because it has a perfect curvature. If it was flat, probably it would have collapsed much earlier. And the same goes for the hand. Now, a great way of stabilizing the roof inside of your hand is to take a ball of paper. You take that piece of paper into your hand and now you almost have no other choice than keeping your hand round and uh, the joints flexible. There are, of course, a lot of finger trainers on the market with springs, but I would be careful with that because you can hurt your hand pretty badly with that. So if you're just beginning to strengthen your hand, probably it's better to just use your strings as resistance. For me, this is really an essential part of cello technique. So if you know someone that could benefit from it, feel free to share this video and I'll see you next week.